feeling it and the winter weather that we're expecting. We could be measuring that snow in a few spots over a foot before it's all said and done. It's one of these later season winter storms and we're looking at the potential for this storm to bomb out. And of course, we've talked about bombogenesis and what that all entails. We have the atmospheric setup conducive for this area of low pressure at the surface at least to strengthen. So let's dissect that and tell you what we're talking about. When we discuss a system bombing out, it's generally, as Jane was mentioning, the storm will be strengthening. It's going to be located farther south in an area where we're seeing some of that heavy rain through Florida. This storm is expected to track through portions of the Carolinas and then out into the Atlantic. And the upper air pattern is supportive for storm development, meaning that as the air filters in and filters up, we're going to be able to spread that air out to where the area of low pressure at the surface will be allowed to strengthen. Technically, a bomb cyclone has to strengthen about 24 millibars in 24 hours. That's generally speaking, one millibar per hour. And this storm is expected to do so as it rides up the eastern seaboard. It'll likely, as we call it, bomb out in the New England area. But here's what we're expecting, those winds to be quite strong, especially once this system skirts on into maritime province, uh, provinces of Canada. Strong winds, of course, coupled with the heavy rain and the potential for snow going to give that winter storm feel, especially for interior portions of the Northeast. So that's what's going to be happening with the upper air pattern and also the winds at the surface. This is what we're expecting regarding moisture. We're already watching that snow this morning from Detroit through St. Louis down into portions of Texas, this area of low pressure positioned along the upper Texas coastline, of course, funneling in some of that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. This low is going to generally ride up the eastern seaboard, of course, with high pressure to the west. That's bringing in that cold air. And when we have a tighter gradient, we have something called frontogenesis, and that's an enhancement to some of this precipitation. In this case, it's snow through the Appalachians and it's heavy rain right along the eastern seaboard. Then this storm will continue to move on to the north and we'll see that transition occur along the I-95 corridor to snow. It's not a favorable zone, at least with this storm, to where we'll see heavy snow along that I-95 corridor. But like I had mentioned, a little farther interior spots, let's say Syracuse, up into Albany, maybe into um, Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, we could have some decent accumulations. But keep in mind, that wind is going to be howling as this storm system exits. And while we'll see mostly rain along that I-95 corridor, we'll probably end it with a little bit of snow. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.